Hello, thank you for joining me. That was two class 444 De Zeros on the southwestern main line. We're just west of Basingstoke and we've come here today to visit the Milestones Museum, which is just here. Now this is the town that never rains inside this museum. Inside this barrel arched building is a whole town, completely built town, set in two different eras so we'll explore them as we go around so as it's inside that's the reason it never rains so we've come here today to explore this museum see what there is to see there's lots of exciting things um, I came in my larder which you can just see parked over there so I've already been in I've had a good look round told them I was going to come out and come back in again so here we go here we go there's the shop there there's a vehicle there so um, as we come into here, so that's just there, that's where you pay to go in, but they knew I was coming back in. There's the shop. Um, and then if you look over here, you get a great view over the town. So we're gonna go down these steps and we're gonna explore just over there behind the shop is the Rooftops Cafe. Called that for fairly obvious reasons. It looks over the rooftops. I think as I come down these steps and see the town like this, it's a bit like Reminds me a bit of Beckenscott Model Village, where I've made numerous videos in the past, except unlike Beckenscott, it's not a model, it's real. We're actually going to go down there and we're going to have a really good look around inside. We're going to go in and out all these buildings, have a look. Um, there's various other little museum bits. So here, quite interesting, is a history of cameras. I'm not going to go for every camera because I'm no expert on cameras, although I use one all the time to make these videos. Imagine though, this all was around... You know, in the 1800s and I was carrying that around to make my videos I think it would be a lot more complicated then you go through you know various different ones we get to sort of Kodak and you know um, I remember then when I was younger whenever I go to a gala I always think yeah Kodak would have made a fortune in those days and um, I did have some cameras a bit like that when I was younger and um, so yeah cameras it's something I use all the time but now let's go and look around a much older era, the Victorian sort of era, 1930s, or what sort of, it's not set in any particular year, but it's just what you'd have seen, you know, over different times. So, as we come to down here, let's um, explore the town where it never rains. So there's lots of steam engines here, various steam rollers, traction engines of various different types, so we'll be able to see them. Um, there's a little model here, this is good. Here we have one, we'll see a similar one, full size one. This one doesn't power itself, it's for powering machines like this. And if I press this button, it all springs into action. So this is a steam threshing machine, so um, you put the the hay would go in the top, straw, it's hay or straw, not a farm or one of them. If it goes through here, it, it come out as bales at the end. So there's also a good model of them. Going back to Beck and Scott, they've got a model of one of them there. Here we have steam roller. Let's go in here. Here we have a workshop powered by what you would call a semi-portable steam engine. You know, it could Welcome be moved. Oh, I'm Mr. Henry Tasker. And getting a welcome talk. So, um, so it's the ironwork. So if you look, that steam engine would have powered all these machines. So you've got a lathe here, you've got a horizontal milling machine there, all sorts of things. There's a cutaway of a boiler, so the fire would be in there and it would heat the water through these tubes. And we come out here into the town. We have another steam engine, traction engine. That steam engine over there, that's a bit like the little model we just saw. We'll go back through here, because there's quite an interesting ironworks. That's worth a look. Waterloo Ironworks, founded 1813. So let's go and see what we can see in here. We can go through here. Here is the manager's office of the ironworks. Just up there is a bridge, a model of a bridge, of the sort of thing the company would have made. And around here, some of the products. So they'd have made everything from iron railings, benches, tops of conservatories and orangeries. 
road signs like that one, or more signposts rather. Um, here we have, you can see the bellows there, so for those of you don't know what a bellow is, you pull that down, that would blow air onto the fire. And here we have some of the patterns, so the castings would have been made in sand in these patterns. There'd have been a wooden mock-up, and here's an example, see that there, that's the wooden mock-up, they'd have printed that into the sand, and then like the picture shows, they'd have poured the molten iron in, and beside it is the finished iron product. So it's all very interesting. There's so much to see here. Um, I've been here, well, I got here about 11, half 11, and it's now the afternoon. Most people have gone home, so it's a very good time for me to be making this video. Um, so it's, it's a really good place. You can easily spend a day here, and especially if it's raining, it's a great place to come when it rains, because you don't need to worry about getting wet, because it never rains here. Um, what's this one here? There's just so many of these rooms. Like I said, it's basically Beckham's cot, but you can actually go in the houses because you are not a giant person. Another steam engine there. Um, I don't know every type of steam engine there is, but you know, I do find it all quite interesting. There's just the tram lines in the, in the rails. We will see a tram later, but that would be the tram depot, that building there. This bit, this bit I particularly like, this is a sawmill, so we'll go in and have a look around the sawmill. So where steam engines, they would have of course powered the sawmill. We have another steam engine, a little giant steam engine. Going into here, look at all this. Here's all the tools you'd have. All sorts of tools. And then we go through here. I don't know what some of these are, I remember I used to use these, a drill. And our drill, various planes, quite small planes, some quite big planes down there. There's chisels and everything. You go through here. There's an old vacuum cleaner there. Maybe that's for all the dust they get from the wood, I'm not too sure. And as we come around here, we're now down the other end of the sawmill. So these would like be the logs arrived from the forest ready for bees. Here a steam train going past, there's various sounds, there's not actually a steam train, or at least I hope there's not actually a steam train going past here on the main line, but they have all the sounds of various things going on. That sort of whining you can hear, that would be this blade spinning round, so this man here, look, look at the concentration on his face. I don't normally go putting my camera in people's faces, but I don't think this bloke minds. And then this gentleman here, see he's turning the chain and that's pulling this log through sawing up into planks like we've got down there so that's a sawmill and um, yeah, they're all very interesting if we go through here we can see some more steam engines inside the building there's a greengrocer over there with some cats on the roof so I look at this one this steamroller I find this quite fascinating the steering, if you look at this, so there's the steering wheel, steers this rod, and that's called a worm gear. So that turns this here, and then that would make the front wheel turn. It's interesting, the boiler is, I've never seen one with a boiler at that angle before. We have a steam lorry. So it's a bit like going to a steam lorry, except everything is static, but still. We could see there's more machinery. Let's see, another lathe in there. This one, I think this one must be a diesel or petrol one. I had a good study of it earlier. I'm pretty sure it's not steam. It's going from Egham. Sorry. So yeah, it's a roller. It's not. Although diesel rollers are, seem to always be called steam rollers, but it just seems to be the word. But so it's a steam diesel roller, but it's not steam at all. It's a diesel roller, but still, it's known as a steam roller. So we come back out here and um, walk around the corner, some more vehicles, and then here's one of my favourite exhibits, a tram. As you know, I do like trams. So this tram we've got here on the whole, as I said, most exhibits tend to be local or at least from Hampshire. This... The sweet shop has closed, but I didn't want any sweets. We'll, we'll talk, I'll sh I will point it out there. Here we have a Portsmouth Cooperation Tramways number 84. So obviously this would have run in Portsmouth until the system closed. 
Let's have a look at that. And then, if you look in front of you, oh, that's the vintage tea tent. That's also now closed. We can have tea and cake there. Over there is a railway station. Obviously, we're going to go and have a look in that. But my favourite exhibit, now I am being a bit biased here, but this is my favourite exhibit, a steam locomotive. This locomotive is called Warmer. Now, I believe it was at the um, Longmore Military Railway, which, again, was a big military railway in Hampshire. This engine ended up at a museum up in Beverley in Yorkshire on military transport, which, unfortunately, that museum is closed, so the exhibits ended up in various different places. I believe, was this one built by... Yeah, it was built by Avon side of Bristol in 1910. So, and it's works number 1572. So, 1910, so it's over 100 years old. She is. So I doubt we'll ever get her for haulage. You never know, she might be steamed one day and they replace her with something else. And there's a coal wagon. Anyway, I expect you probably want to have a look in the railway station. So, let's go inside and see what there is in here. So, this station, it's... Um, Great Western style station, which is a bit ironic because we are in Southern Territory, although some railways did push their way into Southern Territory, some Great Western ones did. It reminds me a bit of Kidderminster Station on the Seven Valley Railway, um, but I'll show you what it actually is. I believe it must the original one must have been the same architect as Kidderminster, although Kidderminster is a modern reproduction. But you know what I mean? There is the ticket office. Now, if we go into here, we have some more of my favourite exhibits. A good double O gauge model railway. Now this is a model railway of the other station in Winchester, the Great Western Railway Station in Winchester. So you can just see there's a, a pannier tank and an auto carriage. There's also a Britannia. And um, behind there's a London South Western Railway locomotive, a rather large model. And also we have a really nice model here of a schools class locomotive. So there's three of these in existence. Um, there's Stowe, there's Cheltenham, and there's another one. It'll come to me. I'm coming on screen now. So this is a schools class locomotive. Oh, goodness. Always like it. It says start. So let's see if we can make this model railway go into action. Okay, what we're going to see. Oh, and that's Alton Hall there, or to most more modern people these days. In its modern times, it's known as Hogwarts Castle. I press start. Um, but yeah, that's the model railway here. And you can see, if you look at that station building down there, that is what we're in. We're in the full size one of them. So that's the Winchester Great Western Station. One day I'll have to go down to Winchester and we could do a video on the city, on the various historic buildings, and perhaps have a look at some of the old railways. So as we now walk, we'll go past, um, see the steam engine again and the tram again. So yeah, this kind of is my favourite part, the museum. But there's a lot of other really exciting things to see here. We'll walk through and I'll show you everything else um probably what i'm going to actually do is do more than one video here today because there's a bit too much to put onto one video so because there's two different eras and there's also something else which i'll show you later on um we'll do it like that have a quick look in here this is the school um so yeah school wasn't really my favorite period of life going to school i was never allowed to do what i wanted and always had to <laughs> study stuff I wasn't interested in but anyway have a look at this, this is interesting. There's the points there on the tramway network. So here, in that, um, under this, it's all, I suppose you call it a manhole. It's not really a manhole, but anyway. You know what I mean? That's where you'd have changed the points. So if you were a tram coming this way, you could go that way to the depot, or that way where the tram currently is. And there's various buildings here. There's a illusion of a railway bridge over there. This is the fire station. This is a quite fascinating building. So we'll go in here and have a look. Here we have a steam fire engine. It's not actually steam powered, or it's not propelled, the steam engine. It doesn't propel itself, so it would have to have been pulled by a horse or another vehicle. It's purely a steam pump. And then if we go in here, a very old fire engine. I'm not quite sure how the pump on that one would have worked. But if you come into here, you can see some hand pumped fire engines. So imagine that four firemen would have stood there, they'd have pumped really hard to put the fires out. 
There's all the ladders, so yeah. And they have the old leather buckets. There's the post office. Let's go through here. There's something here. I'm going to do this in another video, but I'm just going to point it out. It seems a bit funny to find this here in Basin. Look, Milestones Pier. Yes, it's a pier. And um, there's all the games and everything. So I'm going to do that in another video. So have a look at the link on screen now. We'll do that later. That's going to be good fun. Let's just go down here. Um, so like I said, the museum is currently still open. It's just it's winter and everyone's gone home and it's a weekday. So I haven't actually got this place quite to myself. It just kind of gives that illusion. Hence why I chose today to make this video. Into here. This is another one of the many shops you can go inside. Oh, look at this. You often see these. It's one of those you are allowed to play with some of the toys. Okay, now this probably isn't going to go well, but I'm going to try it anyway on camera. Can I manage this? It's like you have to sort of run along and make it go. It's going to be... Uh, yeah, that's not working. You can't, it's going to be pretty really hard to do, and it's pretty even harder on camera. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to need more practice with this before I do this on camera again. I'm going to leave that on there. But yeah, you can, you can play with some of the toys, which is quite nice. Um, over there by that steam engine. There's actually a game of hopscotch on the pavement. You can play that, but I don't know how to play it, so I'm not going to. Um, but the point is I'm making is you can interact. The other thing you can do interacting is um, there's a pub there. It's closed now because it's later on in the day, but earlier on, you could go in there and have a pint. So what I did when I got here, because I had driven, I wanted to have a pint, but I went and had it straight away. I don't normally have a pint in the morning, but I had a pint in the morning, just so I could say I'd had a pint here, and then I've had all day to walk it off. There's one of the little houses there that you can have a look through there. Let's go through here, down to the little backyard. And then look, you can see on the other side where we just were. There's the old tin bath. I suppose, I suppose behind here this would be the toilets. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's a man on the toilet in there. Uh, sorry. So, well, yeah, I'm going to leave him. Let's go back out here. We've got a bus, a nice old bus. What's this? This is the gas works. Here we have the gas works. Gas powered engine. A bit like a steam engine. And there's various gas meters. Reminds me of it, sometimes we used to go on holiday to Wales and there used to be some similar gas meter, you used to put money in the gas meter. Let's have a look out here. Here we have a garage. So you can hear there's all various talking and stuff. Through there, that's another era for another video. Here's a saddler's, you go and saddle your horse up. Really nice this old bus. Can we have a look through the window of the pub? Yeah, look. So I sat and had a pint in there earlier. And I must say it was very good ale. Let's go through here. So I'm kind of coming to the end of this video, but like I said, I've done this half. Once you go round there, it's a different era. So I'm gonna put that in another video just because I think there's a lot to see here. But here we have another area in here. Well, ooh, more, more engines. This is all the wagons, you know, different country wagons you'd have got for transporting various um, goods and stuff. If you look, what I discovered here that I found quite fascinating is different counties have different wagons. So that's a Hampshire wagon. Hampshire's where we are now. Dorset, East Anglian, Glamorgan, Herefordshire. Oh, and um, there's a load of ales there. Beers and ales. So, yeah, good place. And the pub was next door. More wagons. So I'll show you where we go through into the 1930s and 40s era. Area, but that, like I said, that is going to be a different video. So what I'm going to do, it's through there. You can see the Art Deco buildings, but they are for another video. So from 
Milestones Museum. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do look out, there's going to be a couple more. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. You know, do come and visit Milestones. If you want to come by train, it's about a mile west of the station, so you can either walk or get a bus. Or, or there's a large car park, as, as today I did drive here. So, from Milestones, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.